Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Avinash and uh, in this video, I'm going to take you through a feature called bin log. Okay, um, see this basically this bin log or uh, binary log actually stores all the changes happening in our database. Okay, so what, what exactly events happening, like what changes are made uh, happening on our database, so it, it stores in a sequence manner and whenever you are trying to replicate data from one server to another server, right, whether you are using third party software or DMS, if you are migrating data from one server to another server, so at that time, if you want to verify the replication status or sometimes when data replication happening, some error may occur, at that time, if you want to uh, verify the data integrity and all so then you can depend on this bin log uh, feature right in simple it stores all the changes happening on our database and it also helps us to perform the restoration if any data loss occurred okay so basically this bin log has three formats one is a statement second one is row and third one is mixed basically mixed is nothing but a combination of statement and row so statement it it stores the logs so that basically causing the changes in the database so it's kind of very limited information stores here in the statement but this row format right it is going to um, log all the changes caused by sql statements so mixed means combination of both so uh, where we can enable in aws see if it is your own managed server, we can modify the configurations. But in AWS, this RDS, right? It's completely managed service. So we cannot do any configuration changes. So for that purpose only, what AWS giving us is parameter um, group. So basically this parameter group uh, is a group of settings that we can pass to our RDS uh, uh, instance or cluster so we have to adjust that parameter group settings so that automatically it will take effect okay so i assume one thing that you already have a database before performing this and i assuming that you already have an ec2 instance in the same account to get connected to the database and if your database is publicly accessible, you can install MySQL Workbench in your local laptop. Even you can connect uh, from your local laptop also. All right, so here is my database. I'm going to quickly connect to this database and I'm going to verify whether bin log is enabled or not. So let me grab this endpoint and I'm going to create a connection from my local. So basically this database is publicly accessible enabled one. So then test the connection if connectivity is there it will prompt for the password you enter the password and i'm even saving the password connection success all right i got connected to this mysql rds instance that i already have all right i just created some time back itself okay so you can even verify the connection credentials, what is the username, what is the password, everything you can verify here. I just created some time back. So now the question is, do I have bin log enabled for this database? To verify that, we can use a simple command, show variables like bin log. So whenever you are executing this command, whenever you are executing this command, you see here it's showing bin log as a on. And one important thing, on whatever the RDS you want to utilize this bin log feature, make sure this automatic backup is enabled. Otherwise, you cannot use that bin log feature. And it's saying on. So how it is on? So currently, my database, right? So contains a parameter group. I went with the default parameter group. So go to configuration, scroll down. And you see here, DB instance parameter group. If you open this parameter group, and if you search for this bin log, so you can find this option bin log format. Currently it's set to mixed. 
So if you want to modify this, you just go here, default one, um, which one? Go to this default one, and you can simply edit this. So it's a parameter group, TV instance parameter group. You go here. And as it is a default one, we cannot edit. Okay. So if you want to create your own, you can click on create parameter group. So then you can define um, what settings you want to give, the case size, bin log settings, everything you can configure under this parameter group only. All right. So what is a parameter group family? So if you are using uh, Aurora, you can use this Aurora MySQL. If you are using DB2, you can select that. If you are using Postgre, if you are using MySQL. See, I'm using MySQL and this DB version is 8.0.35. So I'm selecting MySQL 8.0. So DB parameter group and you can give a name DB uh, custom DB pg parameter group you can give a description and create so now a parameter group will create with all the default settings so now you can go ahead and edit this so if you are observing this bin log right you search for this bin log and you see here bin log format it is set with mixed so instead of mixed you want to set it to row you can simply give row here or if you want to set it to statement you can Give as a statement and uh, cache how much bin log is going to cache and here you can even observe additional settings case size you want to give sync bin log you can set up all the bin log settings here all right if you want to modify this existing clusters parameter group so simply you can modify here and you can scroll down and here we can observe this db subnet group that is vpc settings and you see here custom db parameter group you can simply continue apply immediately so it is going to take effect and the change we are performing right it's a dynamic change so we have to reboot this so how we can come uh, come to know that so when you go to this cluster, if you scroll under configuration, if you scroll down, it won't show it as a in sync. It will show as a pending reboot to apply changes. So if you ever see this pending reboot, so make sure you take a minute and you reboot this cluster or instance so that the changes you perform will take effect. All right. So currently bin log is on and also I want to verify the bin log format. So you copy this. I will share these commands with you guys. Um, then run it and bin log format is a mixed all right so now i want to show bin logs here so i'm running a command here called show binary logs whenever we're executing this command right it is going to show us the binary logs what are the changes happening on this right it is going to continuously uh, it keep on increase but currently what is a retention period set up for this pin log so sometimes we may need to set up the retention period and if you want to see any retention period you can run this command mysql rda show configuration so it will display it will display current So it is going to display current uh, retention hours. So basically there is no retention hours, uh, retention period setup. See, it's better to set up a retention period based on our requirement. So here I'm setting up a retention period for 24 hours. So last 24 hours changes are going to be retained and it is going to be stored in this bin log. So I have set up that. So now when I'm running this show configuration, so now it is going to show us the retention period as a 24 hours. All right. So we have uh, set up a pin log retention period. So now sometimes what happened, we may get some uh, activity or issues, right? So at that time, we may need to download these binary logs to inspect the issues or inspect what exactly happening. Okay. So recently we got an issue with one of the database replication. 
okay so aws support guy asked us to like you know download this uh, bin log and asked us to share the uh, this bin logs so we faced a bit difficult uh, like you know to download this uh, bin log at that time i decided to make a video on this so now to download this bin logs or if you want to generate more uh, bin logs what we can do i have simple commands okay so i'm giving a simple command here oops so i'm giving a simple command so uh, i'm creating a table inside that uh, schema a table got created so then i'm going to insert uh, multiple records and if you want to delete also you can do that all right so here is uh, just give a refresh you can observe here is a table within the table i created this my table and uh, here you can see everything got created id name age right so the, what is the primary key what is the pri uh, partition key everything all right so for these changes also automatically bin log will uh, identify so sometime back whenever i run this uh, show binary logs right it has only some information but now you see here this size actually increasing okay so whatever change you are doing whatever activity you are doing it will be tracked by this and logged by this uh, bin log so now i want to download this bin log file to my ec2 instance or to my uh, local laptop so in this video i'm going to explain you through an ec2 instance i already have an ec2 instance here i got connected to my ec2 instance so now i'm going to install the required um, software so i face little difficulty to find uh, just a utility package so what i'm doing here i'm going to install a community server so let's copy that paste it here so i'm just preparing my repo all right my repo got prepared so now i'm going to install this mysql community server so let's copy this command Execute it here. So the installation is completed. Here is a script to download the bin logs. So first I'm going to give a path where it need to download. So then I'm going to pass my uh, database uh, endpoint or uh, RDS endpoint. And then I'm going to give the username. Then I'm going to uh, provide the password to get connected to it. So then which bin log you want to download, you can pass that bin log here. So then uh, when this command executed, right? So it is going to pick username, it is going to pick the host, these all from here, from variables. So read from remote server, then it will look for this pin log and it is going to download that to this path. So make sure you have this path available. Okay, so this installation is completed. We are good with this uh, uh, required package, MySQL bin log utility package. So now, uh, let's prepare uh, this information. So what is our RDS endpoint? So let me copy that RDS endpoint and let me paste it here. And DB admin is a password. Avinash12345 is a password. Which bin log you want to download? Here, when we observe the show bin logs, oops, show bin logs, so here you see these all are the bin log files are creating. I just want to download this uh, last one. So I'm going to copy that field and just replace that here. Need to remove that code. All right, I just want to download this. So let me copy this and let me create a 
compile here in this EC2 instance. So I'm calling this as a download binlog.sh, press I, paste that script, press escape colon WQ. All right, the script now created and we have to provide execute permission, chmod plus execute download file. All right, and make sure you create the directory. So the directory name, I think I have given it as a bin log, right? So mkdir bin log. All right, currently I don't have anything under this bin log. Okay, so let's execute this um, script. So it will log into our database and it is going to download that. So make sure you adjust your security groups accordingly. Okay, so now it's time to execute our uh, script. So yeah, so basically this is a script. So we it should download the bin log should download to this location. And this is what the specific bin log I'm looking for. And uh, yeah, this one. So now let's run this as such download dot and it got downloaded. So just to double check, go to bin logs directory, give ls and there you can see the bin log got uh, created. You can cat into that file and you can see all the information, what exactly happening, right? So the heartbeat, everything. So all the information actually it is storing here. So uh, you can even adjust this uh, script to, you can adjust the script to download uh, multiple files also from uh, one, uh, like, you know, sequence for, for some series of bin logs also, you can download by adjusting this uh, script. All right, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And uh, that's it for this video. See you again in next video. Thank you guys. Thank you.